Um, hi, Erica. Thank you so much for taking the time to interview with me. So I just kind of wanted to start by asking, why do you think the tech industry needs a book like Nevertheless, She Persisted? So I, I'm so excited about, about this book and the fact that Pratima asked me, it was like, finally, we, we need to tell the stories. I think you're only is people need to understand that this is a challenge. And if you don't share, like, there's imposter syndrome, there's these emotions that you have, and you keep it close to yourself, and then someone else tries to trail that, you know, follow that same trail, and they don't, and they realize they're hitting all these bumps along the way, they're like, oh my gosh, is this normal? Is this normal? And you start questioning yourself. And then these stories are very, very authentic, and they tell you the stories of what they went through, and you're like, oh, it is normal. It is okay. I will be able to get through this. So I love that she went in and talked to everybody and just said, tell me your story. Yeah. So Yeah, absolutely. So kind of building off that question, what was the process like for you being featured on the book? So how did Pratima first approach you? How did you take it? Like, if you can walk me through the steps and what was going on in your head. Yeah, so, you know, I... She had reached out to me. I was I was at Grace Hopper and we were so busy and been to Grace Hopper multiple times. And she said, "I'm writing a book. I was wondering if you could I could just sit down with you and you tell me your story." And I just was like, "Sure, why not?" And we met and we sat down in this in Grace Hopper conference on a table. And she's like, "Okay, I'm just gonna video. I'm gonna put a recorder down. And can you just start?" answering questions, tell your story. And I'm like, okay, first of all, I hate writing, so this is like perfect. <laughs> I'm like, thank goodness you didn't ask me to do that. And to be honest, it was, we connected so much just talking and it actually was a pretty emotional experience, to be honest. I, I, I cried and I was uh, authentic with her and I had just uh, lost my dad like two years ago. So I was, she caught me in a moment where it was just like fresh and she was so, intimate and being able to be truthful to myself and I had a breakthrough through that conversation wow. so it was fantastic and then after that she contacted me a little bit later and she said hey we we, we transcribed this and can you start proofreading and I was like oh my gosh this, there's work to be into wow. now I have to go through this and then uh, perfecting the story but she did a lot of the work I mean to be honest it was so easy for us and I'm really really grateful Wow, that, that's absolutely incredible. So kind of building off that, is there a nevertheless she persisted type story that you felt like you really related to or maybe like a story you heard before the book that inspires you? You know, I think I've had so many women that have shared their stories with me and I'm trying to think, like you're asking me a very pointed question of a remember, I don't know, one off the top of my head. Uh, I don't know, fail, fail, we're failing this one. <laughs> A lot of, basically, a lot of women inspire you. A lot of women inspire you. I'm trying to think, like, one off the top of my head that I could, like, relate to. Um, it's totally fine. You can ask another question. You know what? Actually, there was one that I just heard, because my memory is short, so I was like, I just heard it last week. And she is a CTO at Microsoft, and her name was Jennifer, and she shared her story. She didn't have an engineering degree, didn't go to school for it, completely self-taught. And she talked about her path, how it was just kind of wavy, and it, there wasn't like a straight path all the way through, and that's where she got, she, and then she's the CTO of Microsoft, which is like massively huge, but she taught herself everything. And she just learned through every single experience. And I'm like, wow, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's like sometimes you're like, I'm in this perfect box. I went to my four year, you know, year university at Stanford, got my CS degree. It's like, I'm, I'm perfect. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what you're trying to do. But it can be different and it can have a different path. And it really matters what you learned along the way. And so hearing those stories that, well, they did it this way, they did it this way, all of these variety of choices is still possible. So, yeah, that's so true. That's awesome. So, for the last question, I want to take you back to my age. 1920 and if you could give your 20 year old self a piece of advice 20, wow, my 20, okay what would you tell your 20 year old self my 20 year old self I would definitely ask for help I think what I did early on is you just kind of consume it within yourself and you're trying to figure it out and now I mean you have mentorship and sponsorship it's like these words are tossed all around all the time and it's like I wish I would have heard those words and I wish I would have asked to help for help so I think you're actually in probably one of the best stages of your life in the type of support I mean we were just having a conversation before like you want to get an internship yeah. come to LinkedIn I want to help you right yeah. and so I think that um, I definitely would have asked for help but in you're in your version right now and the other thing I would do is try a lot of things 
I don't, you think you're supposed to know, oh, I want to be a computer science major and I want to be an engineer and I want to do this. There's different types of engineers in the industry. So you got to try my, my, my front end and my back end or, or maybe I'm full stack and I like to do all these things. And so I think you got to try, you got to explore and be able to say, I tried it, I don't like it. On to the next one. It's kind of like software. You got to A/B test yourself <laughs> yeah. and figure out like what you're comfortable with. Yeah. So. Awesome. Thank you so much.